let's get straight to the point. 5. When your brain turns on emotional airplane mode and forgets to turn it off. Some days, you wake up and look at life with a big ol' meh. Not sad, not happy, not in love, not annoyed. Just drifting. It's not because you skipped breakfast or got dumped. It's because your brain just flipped a hidden switch. Emotional airplane mode. When life bombards you with deadlines, drama, we need to talk texts from your ex, and a burnt sandwich for breakfast, your brain gets overwhelmed. And just like an old phone trying to run 12 apps at once, it freezes. So it does what it thinks is smart. It cuts off emotions altogether. But here's the thing. Your brain doesn't just block the bad stuff. Nope, it goes full drama. It blocks everything. Happiness, excitement, even that little burst of joy when you watch a kitten fall off a couch on TikTok. Suddenly, life feels distant, like you're watching it through foggy glass. It's still happening, but you don't feel it. Scientists say it's your amygdala, that tiny part of your brain that handles emotions and alarms going full red alert. It yells, shut it down, like yanking the emergency brake on an emotional roller coaster right in the middle of the loop. All of this, it's your brain trying to protect you. But in doing so, it also protects you from the things you actually need to feel. You might not even notice it at first. One day, you're fine. The next, you're staring at a ceiling fan, wondering, wait, why don't I feel anything? No joy, no sadness, no spark, no interest. You're floating inside an emotional bubble, watching life unfold like a badly dubbed movie, where you're not even the main character. But here's the good news. This shield doesn't last forever. Like airplane mode, all it takes is the right kind of reset. A good night's sleep, a real conversation, a walk in the sun, or even talking to a pro. No, not a TikTok life coach. Bit by bit, your brain will lower its defenses, and you'll begin to hear life again. That song that gives you chills, a conversation that moves you to tears, or just finally feeling alive again. So if you feel like you're floating through life without really being there, don't worry. You're just in emotional low power mode, and there's a way back. Four. Why are you laughing in the middle of a crisis? Picture this. You're in a car accident, or an earthquake hits. Or let's say you're standing in front of your boss, your mind has gone blank, and the projector just made its final dying sound. Your heart's racing, your brain's spinning, everything inside you is screaming red alert. And suddenly, you start laughing. Not the polite giggle, not the haha that was funny laugh, we're talking about a totally misplaced, borderline maniacal laugh. And you're thinking, what the heck is wrong with me? Nothing. This is your brain's version of pushing the big red emergency button. When you're hit with overwhelming stress or fear, your brain doesn't pause to ask your permission. It triggers one last defense mechanism it's got left. Laughter. See, laughter biologically is a pressure release valve. When you laugh, your body releases endorphins, those feel-good, pain-killing chemicals. They act like nature's Tylenol for both your body and your mind, giving you a momentary okayness in a world falling apart. That's why ER doctors often see patients laughing right after an accident. It's not creepy. It's not heartless. It's survival. This laughter pumps more oxygen to your brain, lowers stress hormones, stabilizes your heartbeat, and gives you a second to breathe before you collapse. Think of it like a pressure cooker letting out a hiss. No release valve, boom. And the wild part, you don't choose this. It happens to you. You don't schedule it, you don't plan it, and it doesn't ask for your consent. But here's the catch. To the outside world, your laughter might look wrong. It might seem like you're not taking things seriously, like you're detached, cold, or just plain weird. 
they don't realize your brain is doing everything it can to keep you functioning. So next time you find yourself giggling during the worst possible moment, remember, you're not broken. You're not cruel. You're just surviving the way your brain knows best, with a laugh that doesn't make sense, but totally saves you. 3. When your brain becomes a screenwriter for your own memories. Ever wake up with a mysterious bruise and no clue how it got there? You stare at it, poke it, think hard. Hmm, I must have bumped into the doorknob while carrying groceries. Sounds legit. Feels plausible. There's just one problem. It never happened. Welcome to one of your brain's favorite pastimes, making stuff up. Scientists call it confabulation, a fancy term that means your brain hates blank spaces so much it would rather fabricate a memory than admit it forgot. Now your brain isn't lying to you for fun. It's not giggling behind your back. In fact, it truly believes it's helping. How? By confidently filling in the blanks with total fiction. When your brain finds a gap in memory, it refuses to leave it empty. It's like a kid with a coloring book. There's a blank space here? No worries, let's color it in with whatever seems to fit. And the weirdest part? You'll believe it. Completely. You might swear you left your keys on the kitchen counter. Reality check, they've been in your pocket all day. Your brain? No problem, I'll just conjure up a memory of placing them on the counter. Boom, problem solved. And just like that, a fake memory is born. Now, in healthy people, this kind of confabulation happens all the time, subtly. But when parts of your brain, especially the frontal lobe, the storytelling department, get damaged or overactive, things get weirder. Suddenly, people start remembering meeting celebrities in noodle shops or being Cold War spies even if they were born in 1998, and they'll defend those memories like their lives depend on it. Why? Because your brain has a deep, irrational hatred for not knowing. It would rather make up a wildly incorrect story than face the horror of uncertainty. Nothing freaks out your brain more than a question it can't answer. And if it doesn't have the facts, it'll invent them. So the next time you vividly remember something everyone else swears never happened, maybe pause for a second. It might be real. Or maybe your brain just produced a brand new movie starring you, written by you, without your consent. Two. When your brain has two directors and they're filming different movies about your life. Imagine this. Your brain isn't one unified genius like in sci-fi movies. It's more like a pair of twins. Two directors working on the same film called Your Life, except they don't talk to each other. Each one's making their own version of the movie. Same actor, you, different plot lines, and zero communication. Welcome to Split Brain the sequel nobody asked for. Scientists discovered this mind-blowing glitch by studying people who had undergone corpus callosotomy, a surgery that separates the two hemispheres of the brain, usually to treat severe epilepsy. After the surgery, the left and right hemispheres couldn't chat anymore. That's when things got weird. If scientists flashed a scary image to the right hemisphere, which processes emotion but can't speak, the person would physically react. Heart racing, startled expression, sweaty palms. But when asked, why are you scared? The left hemisphere, which controls language but didn't see the image, would confidently invent an explanation like, oh, I thought I saw a spider on the wall. There was no spider. But the left brain hates a blank space. So it just made something up that sounded reasonable. The left brain is basically that overconfident student who always raises their hand, even if they didn't do the homework. What's the question? Doesn't matter. I have an answer. Here's the creepy part. You don't even realize this is happening. You believe the lie your brain just told you, because it doesn't feel like a lie. Your brain is really good at writing fiction and passing it off as reality. In fact, your conscious mind is basically a novelist, spinning stories to explain your life, your choices, and your emotions, whether those explanations are true or not. And guess what? 
This doesn't only happen in split brain patients, it happens in normal brains, every day, just more subtly. You tell yourself why you were late. You remember seeing your keys in the car. You're sure you always double check the door. Maybe it's true, or maybe it's just another short film your brain produced, starring you, written by you, and 100% improvised. When your brain decides, I'm only looking right, thanks. Imagine waking up one morning and half the world has vanished. Not because it actually disappeared, but because your brain decided it just doesn't exist anymore. Welcome to one of neuroscience's weirdest plot twists, neglect syndrome. When a specific part of your right hemisphere is damaged, often after a stroke, your brain can suddenly stop paying attention to everything on the left. And I mean everything. Someone with this condition might put makeup on only the right side of their face and think they look flawless. They'll eat only the food on the right side of their plate, leaving the left side completely untouched, not out of pickiness, but because it might as well be invisible. Ask them to draw a clock and they'll cram all 12 numbers into the right half, leaving the left half as blank as a new email draft. And here's the kicker. Their left eye works just fine. There's no blindness, no vision loss. Their brain just refuses to process anything coming from the left. Touch their left arm, and their brain might mislabel the sensation as coming from the right. It's like the brain is running a heavily glitched version of reality with a very aggressive delete button. And the most shocking part? They have no idea anything is wrong. To them, this is totally normal. They're living in a world where the right half is all that matters, and the left side? Gone. Forgotten. Not their problem. It's not denial. It's full-on neurological ghosting. So yes, your brain can literally erase half of reality from your awareness and make you feel totally fine about it. You can see the world, but if your brain decides not to acknowledge part of it, then welcome to the half universe. <laughs> That's it for today. More mind-bending brain glitches coming soon in future videos. Hit subscribe if you want to keep exploring the ways your brain quietly rewrites your reality and never tells you.